Let's face it, train games where you buy shares are usually dull and take ages. Well, this one isn't and doesn't. I'm Rolf from JTLPodcast.com and I'm going to show you how to play Mini Rails. This is a game for three to five players, plays in about 60 minutes, is designed by Mark Gerritz and is published by Moideas Game Design. Here you're building track for different train companies and buying shares in those companies. At the end of the game, the player with the highest total value of shares wins. First, build the frame, either side A or side B. Put the large town tile in the centre and the rest of the tiles around it randomly. Put a disc on the starting space for each company, matching the company's frame colour. Place one if playing with four or five players and three if playing with three players. Put seven, nine or eleven company discs of each colour in the draw bag if playing with three, four or five players. This table in the rule book will remind you of these numbers. Give players the player board in their colour and a matching pair of action tiles. Players place buy and action tiles on their space on the board. Choose a random start player and place the pawns on the turn order track in clockwise order. Then place each player's second pawn in reverse turn order. The game is played over six rounds in three phases, draw, action, taxation. In the draw phase, draw seven, nine or eleven tokens if playing with three, four or five players and place them on the market track. There will be one more token than the number of pawns on the board. Next is the action phase where players, in turn order, will take a disc, move a pawn, then either build a track or buy a share. For either action, a player will take a disc, then move the player pawn into its space on the market track. To buy, remove the buy tile from the player board, place the disc on the zero space of the profit track. This is now a share in that company with a value of zero. To build, remove the build tile from the board, place the company disc adjacent to any disc of the same colour on the city board, then adjust all player stocks accordingly. White dots increase all shares of that company that many pips for every player. For example, if a track was built on a space with three white dots, all shares of that colour would increase three spaces. If it's red with two dots, decrease all shares of that company two spaces. Remember to adjust the value of all shares for all players of that colour, no matter whose turn it is. If the company disc can't be placed when building, put it on that company's frame instead and reduce all stock in that company by one. When players take the second action of a round, it must be the action they haven't taken yet this round. The action token remaining on the player board will remind them which action they have available to them. The third phase is the taxation phase. Simply move the remaining marker on the track to the next empty space on the taxed area. Move player markers to the left to fill any space. Then add more company discs from the bag to the market track and start a new round keeping the newly formed turn order. The game ends after six rounds. After this, each player would have bought six shares and laid six pieces of track each. First, the taxed area is checked to see which companies have been taxed. If a company has a company disc in the taxed area, remove all negative stock of that company. For example, there is a red company disc on the taxation track, so the player will remove their negative red shares. And if a company doesn't have a disc in the taxed area, everyone will remove all positive shares of that company. For example, there is no blue company on the taxation track, so the player will remove their positive blue shares. Add the value of all shares that have made a profit, minus those that have made a loss. Most points wins. Ties are broken by the player with the highest value individual share, then second highest, etc. And that's Mini Rails, a root building stocks and shares game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast or find the blog and podcast at jtrpodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Jester the Rogue, until next time keep on building and buying.